James Mullen is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for a review of this beautiful estate Merlot from Hourglass. So what we have before us is Hourglass Blue Line Estate Merlot 2012 Vintage, uh, Napa Valley, and this is uh, produced by winemaker Anthony Biaggi, 91% Merlot, 7% Cabernet Sauvignon, 2% Petit Verdot, it spends 16 months in new and seasoned French oak. Now this is a 375 milliliter bottle. The 750 milliliter bottle is a uh, suggested retail price point of $75. 14.8% ABV, and uh, really, I'm thinking that, and there's so many wine producers that are really uh, honing in on the Merlot practice, and that is to give some beautiful Merlot. I think Merlot uh, can be very singular, can be very linear and uninteresting, but I think uh, we're finding winemakers who are saying, let's uh, change a barrel program, let's uh, you know increase aging, let's add some other varieties in here, not just Bordeaux varieties, but other varieties, and I think this is really exemplary. So this wine is absolutely captivating, beautiful, and I think you know, it's letting the Merlot shine, of course, but uh, the other uh, Bordeaux varieties, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and the Petit Verdot, add uh, layers of complexity and play well, but don't still the show. They don't uh, upstage Merlot. And uh, I think this is a really uh, nice bottle and shows that Napa Valley's come a long way when it comes to Merlot. It would be one of these wines where you, you get a glass when you're thinking, uh, I'd rather have something else because it was so, um, you know, very uninteresting. Today, we're in a very different wine time. I think winemakers have recognized and have also been allowed to do so. I think uh, you know consumers like yourself out there are expecting really uh, nuanced wines, but also uh, markedly different wines. Uh, nobody wants to drink the Merlot of 20 years ago or 30 years ago. People are wanting to drink Merlot as defined by a great style and letting Merlot shine. A lot of accumulated knowledge in terms of winemaking is out there, and I think we're really getting to that definitive point of beautiful Merlot. So first, scent characteristics, flavor profile, and the point score. So uh, characterization on this wine includes suede, dense forest, leather, rose petals, and lavender. Here we go, take a taste, and some flavor characteristics next. Mmm. Beautiful mouthfeel. This is really definitively Merlot. Um, beautiful notes of tayberry, blueberry, confit, roses, nutmeg, cardamom, bay leaf, and chocolate. I give this wine a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. You can think of that as 92 points out of 100 points. If you like this video review, please give a like right here. Questions, comments, please list them down below as well. And please subscribe to my video channel right here. I'm on most social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, and Pinterest. Stay tuned. It's a, a great wine world we live in, and uh, Merlot is just really on a high point right now. Uh, and expect it to stay that way. It's just like when you think of Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon is really, uh, uh, you know, a really beautiful polished wine in most parts of the wine world. Uh, but I think Merlot is really getting to that place as well to say, here is a definitive point of how to make Merlot interesting. Thank you so much for watching, and salut.